In this video, I'm going to show you how time used to flow in the 90s, what a second used to be like in the 90s. I learned how to do this in the early 90s, so somebody left a great comment on Reddit saying that this thing, it's muscle memory. I think that there's a few people out there that don't quite understand this 1-1000 thing. They're like, oh, I don't know what you're talking about. I count along with the stopwatch and it works fine. It's not about whether you physically can count along with a stopwatch. This is something that we were taught when we were young, how to correctly count for time and to count good time. And some people did 1-1000. I'm a 1-1000 counter. That's how I learned how to count and to keep it accurate to time. And some people did one Mississippi. What's actually kind of funny is you can't even do one Mississippi anymore. Mississippi has just two... <laughs> There's even comments you'll see later. But I'm a 1-1000 counter. What I want to say right now is that the biggest thing that I remember as a child about counting with this 1-1000 method is that I would constantly have to slow myself down. And nobody would ever have that issue nowadays doing that. Okay, so let me just get to it. There was a way that we were taught to count seconds. And you either said 1-1000, 2-1000, or you said 1 Mississippi, 2 Mississippi. And, I mean, that's basically it. It was a way for you to keep track of time. And you got used to it. You had to practice it. And you had to sit there and watch a clock or watch a stopwatch and practice your seconds. And I'm telling you that not just me, almost everybody had to slow themselves down. And let me just show you what I remember. I'm, I'll just count to 10 for you. And I have a video at the end with a stopwatch. Right here I don't have a stopwatch, but let me show you what it was like in the 90s. 10 seconds. One one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand, four one thousand, five one thousand, six one thousand, seven one thousand, eight one thousand, nine one thousand, ten. And that's ten seconds. And the counting was all about getting that rhythm. It, you had to set a tempo, and you most certainly were not saying 1, 1, 1,000, 2, 1, 1,000, 3, 1, 1,000, 4. It wasn't like that. You had to slow yourself down and speak like that, like I just did. That was how I remember doing it. And there's a lot of other people that remember doing it too. Here you go. Let's just flip through these, and then I'll show you at the end I did it with a stopwatch for today. It doesn't work anymore. I remember as a kid, my family had a big ticking clock in the living room, and they remember staring. There, there's going to be people, the only people that this is going to work for with the, oh, I remember, is going to be people that remember practicing this, and they have that muscle memory. So you'll get people coming out of the woodworks, oh, it works fine for me. Counting 1-1000 works fine for me. Yeah, because you're sitting there looking at the stopwatch, and you're and you're matching it. It's not about matching today's time. It's about remembering what it used to be and doing that and then comparing it to today's time. So, yes, time must have sped up because I don't remember it being so quick. A lot of people can tell this one. I just left this comment in here because, you know me, I like interesting ideas. I think people should be able to share interesting ideas. Maybe time being faster has to do with things shrinking. I just said in a recent video that I feel like I can see the firmament these days sometimes, so that maybe the firmament's closer. I have no idea. I just love fun ideas like this. Maybe things, things are shrinking coming together. I don't know. I thought that was cool. I can't recall looking at a clock to do Count Mississippi, but I just tried it, and I couldn't keep up without getting breathless. Yeah, even if you don't remember doing the one Mississippi, I never counted that way, but if you just try to do it that way, it's not even physically possible anymore because Mississippi is too hard to say. People can only do it with the one 1,000 because it's physically possible to say that word really, really fast. So that's all they're doing. They're just saying it fast. Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. It matches time still. You don't get it. 
It's about remembering how it used to be. I'm so glad to stumble across this post. I've been thinking time felt screwy fast, too. Uh, they're stuck in outer space land. Not a good place to be. And here is just somebody clearly not getting it. Say it faster or slower. That's not the point. So I like this comment. I'll read it. You don't understand. It's not a matter of saying it faster or slower. To those of us who were taught to count this way, there was a definite rhythm and speed to it, one that a lot of us have been using for decades. It's a kind of muscle memory, like learning to play piano with a metronome. You can eventually play piano with the same rhythm and speed without one. The rhythm and speed I've been using to count for three quarters of my life to say one one thousand, two one thousand, no longer matches up to the way, speed, and rhythm that I've used since I was seven. Um... Okay. I don't know exactly what they're getting at the end. Just say it's not like it used to be. They made that a little complicated at the end there. 12 new seconds for every 10 old seconds. I, I get even much more extreme than this. I think these people are counting too fast still. I think they're looking at the stopwatch and counting along with it, but kind of remembering what it's like. You got to really remember what it used to be like and count like that and remember how much we had to slow ourselves down. At least me, personally. This was a great comment. They taught us this in elementary school and showed us how to say one, one, thousand, and two. Oh, I guess some people have slightly different versions. Whatever. It became a trope on the playground. We all had to count when we were playing hide-and-seek using real counting. You know, because little kids go count to 15, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and so they had a system. No, you got to really count. We looked at a clock while we counted when we were taught so we could all be in unison. And yeah, the people that are going to have the strongest memory of this, remember how it used to be, are going to be people that practice this a lot. I know that I practice this a lot because in video games, this is just a thing that pops up in video games a lot, where... They'll show you a stopwatch for three seconds, and then the stopwatch disappears, and you need to be good at, at counting to 30 or something. This is absolutely not how I remember learning this 25 years ago. I can't even say Mississippi fast enough to keep up with the second hand now. More people trying it, and they can see that, see that it's right. It's not the way it used to be. It no longer works, and people know. It's only going to work for people that remember what it used to be like. That's just kind of a, a point here. If you never were taught 1-1000, maybe you didn't understand what I was talking about in these videos when I brought it up. But hopefully you understand now. That's why I'm making this video, to clear it up for anybody that doesn't quite understand what the argument is. It's not the way that we were taught to count to make the seconds accurate. You'll have a muscle memory of the way it used to be, and it's not going to match today. So here's my video. I'll end on this. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand, five, one thousand, six, one thousand, seven, one thousand, eight, one thousand, nine, one thousand, ten. So there you go. I got almost 15 seconds of modern time in 10 old seconds. Hope you enjoyed the video. God bless everyone.